Michelle says it is 10 minutes to places, so be ready to break your legs before I do it myself. Her words. You guys ready? Ready as I'll ever be. How about you two love birds? Are you ready? Hey, come on, Craig. We're trying to keep it professional here.
I mean, I don't mind TDH. I care less about who my castmates are and more about how they affect me. Spoken like a true conservatory grad. Only the best. After all, this is just one short stop on my trip to Broadway. I could deal with like whatever if that's what it takes. Gonna have to disagree with you on that one. Getting the lead role at some stupid dinner theater isn't worth it when you're constantly surrounded by two giant snakes. All right, Stop. can we chill with the arguing? I don't want any negative energy backstage before the show. All right, five minutes will turn to other accumulation. So circle up. Well, it's great to see you too, Michelle. Yeah, me too. Look, everyone, I'm gonna level with you all. I've worked hard this past few months to try to put on a raw and emotional performance of the Phantom of the Karaoke Bar. <laughs> and I have to say, my disappointment in all of you is immeasurable. What the Michelle? What is that? I mean, I don't know what else I can do for you here. Like, do you want me to act for you? I feel like I'm directing the next step of Spider-Man. Turn off the dark. <laughs> You're lucky to be working with a natural leap over. And let me tell you, you are all this close to blowing it. Do not take Whoopi's name in vain. Is she done yet? She's still talking. Keep pointing. Hey. Get out of here, smartass, and make sure my lead comes out with you. You're lucky the manager likes you all. Why you think she knows better than me is beyond me. I don't think insulting us is a great pep talk strategy. Damn it, brother Cocker. Oh, Whoa, what was this? <laughs> the way I see it, none of you would even be in this room if I weren't for Vini's input. If I have to work with people I can't stand, I'm at least going to make sure they're as miserable as I am. <sighs> anyways, anyways, <laughs> speaking of Vini, he wants to speak to all of you guys before the show. He'll be here in the next few minutes. Get ready. <coughs> oh, so uh, just remember when I said the car, if you forget a line or you just put yourself, just keep going with your vibe and see. So, as if I would forget a line, I'm gonna do so well, I get a standing ovation from a guy in a wheelchair. <laughs> Maybe you could give her some different advice. I don't think cheating bitch is gonna play with the audience. Oh, <laughs> no, I will realize that she upgraded. The fuck did you just say? You heard me. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, what? Yeah, you heard me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Wait, 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 guys! My chakra is out! Don't tell me how she is. Ah, fuck! With my stepdaughter's chakras, you're gonna mess up her Pisces or whatever. <laughs>
This is what I'd like to hear. All right, everybody. Grab the glass. Watching all your shows since you were in fourth grade. And stop being honest. I feel like your skill set is better suited for cleaning tables. What are you saying? You don't think I'm good enough? Nicole and I sit at the same place, and apparently she's good enough. No, 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 no. No. Of course not. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's a big day. And uh, I'd keep by my side, you know? Maybe the next one. You could be in it. Yeah? Maybe? Yeah! I mean, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe. I love you, kid. We all can't be the mind of Brown, though. Some of us are more like Bruno Kirby. Who? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Production here at Vincenzo's. And guess what, ladies? That's me. <laughs> Trust me, if you thought Rap Pack Blizzard was exciting, psh, you haven't seen nothing. Just a couple good ground rules before we begin. No cameras or photography in any kind allowed in the performance. There'll be 15 minute intermission, and guess what? Best still since the recession, salmon is four dollars off on Tuesdays. If you don't know what the special is on Thursdays, well, just to come back again. <laughs> and now, without further ado, I present to you the Phantom, the Kelly Bar. <laughs> Pardon me, sir. Is this the Monsieur Stolage? Why, yes, it most certainly is. How may I help you? I was wondering if I could see inside storage unit 666. <laughs> storage unit 666. <laughs> but that's where the relics from Cat Daddy's haunted karaoke saloon are kept. I know. You see, many years ago, in my youth of 2002, I was a featured performer at Cat Daddy's Haunted Karaoke Saloon. I have long since left those days behind, but I have, been feeling a, I have been feeling a strange urge as of late, an urge to re-explore the mysteries of that cursed place. <laughs> yeah, right, you're just trying to prank me. There's no way you were a feature performer at Cat Daddy's Haunted Karaoke Saloon. Only the most elite karaoke performers in the tri-state area could work there. I'll have you know that even in my old age today, I could sing the entirety of Real Big Fish's ska cover of Take On Me in only a single breath. Woo! My apologies. 
Clearly you are well versed in the staples of Cat Daddy's haunted karaoke saloon. Maybe you really did ska in these hallowed halls. Right this way. <laughs> creature that gave Cat Daddy's haunted karaoke saloon its title, the Phantom of the Karaoke Bar. <laughs> to appreciate your gift, Christine. I think you would do an excellent job singing one of me. <laughs> ah! How are you? How did you get in here? Do not be alarmed. Cat Daddy's funky karaoke saloon harbors many secrets. I am the phantom of the karaoke bar, and Cat Daddy's funky karaoke saloon isn't just funky. It's haunted. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you here, Phantom? Because I'm in love with you, and I, I want you to be the one to perform this Friday. Come with me to my lair. I have every Spice Girls karaoke track in no ulterior motives whatsoever. <laughs> I'm the security guard. <laughs> strangely before the show? Are you sitting here talking? You moron! The only people to see Vinny before the show is us! Why are you even talking to this clown? Frank, could you check on him? I don't know what to do. And I do? Hell no, I think he's fine where he is. No! Step on him! Please! Check him! Check him! Check him! I'm so scared! Christ! Just call him Craig! I'll check him. Check his pulse. I don't know what else to check. Just give me a chance.
dead. Uh, uh, please remain calm. There has to be a reasonable explanation for this. Uh, how is this man's actual death more entertaining than the whole karaoke shabbat? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, a man just died. This is no time for... Get out of my production, you, you asshole. Can you turn the lights back on now? Uh, no, no, Beth. Can you just go and get Cameron and tell him we just had like a minor, minor emergency on stage? Uh, <laughs> you know yeah. That girl, please God, gives to all of us. Can you please focus? A man is dead. What are we gonna tell Cameron? And Cameron, you're not gonna believe this. We just found a dead body. Oh God. Found a dead body. Yeah, look. Uncle Vinny. <coughs> Uncle Vinny. <laughs> oh my god, who's gonna pay for my shit tonight? Why? <laughs> I wish I had a good answer for you, Cameron. Life can be really unfair sometimes. Sometimes good people get bad endings, and sometimes the wrong people go the wrong time. That's just That's how not I what think. I meant. Go kill my uncle! Kill? Go off, Cameron. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> no, there's foam in it! Well, that doesn't mean he was killed. That could mean anything. What else could it mean? Died of rabies? Oh, that's funny and typical of you to make jokes at a time like this. Oh, oh, and, and typical of you to ruin another relationship. Uh, you know, oh, Cameron didn't need to lose an uncle tonight. Yeah, thanks. You think I did this? You have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, I know you're not. You don't know fucking shit. Fuck you. 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 <laughs> okay, look, we don't know what happened, but whatever happened, we need to call the cops. Beth, give me a phone. Oh, she's asking the lightning. Don't worry, I'll go get it. The God got your enthusiasm is contagious, but stay here. I need your posted amenities. Oh, okay. I'll get you someone else. If any of you dare to bring a phone into my production, now would be the time to hand it over. Uh, I would, uh, but I'm watching you. <laughs> what? Well, I hope you're watching us. No, uh, not us. Uh, the Netflix original series, <laughs> you, uh, written and directed. Uh, by Greg Berlanti. All right, enough of that. I've got mine, but it's not going to be much help. You're not from around here, are you? Shit, he's right. We're going to have to wait it out. Wait, what do you mean? Uh, this is Stratman, ma'am. This town doesn't even have its own police force. If you were to call 911, we'd have to wait for the state troops to get here. And even then, that'd take approximately 45 to 55 minutes. So then what the hell are we supposed to do until then? Mourn my uncle until the cops show up? Well, um, I don't know any of you, and I really don't know what's going on here, but maybe I can help. Or are you a detective? Well, no, but uh, I just finished binge watching SVU, Psych, Breaking Bad, and Grey's Anatomy, so uh, I guess you could say nobody went around the crime scene or an operating room, maybe. All right, is anyone else out there willing to help? I prefer my uncle's death be investigated by someone with actual qualifications. Perfect. Come on, he's not a real cop. Huh. And then if you are real actors, but you're real. Whoa, so, oh, are you looking to start something? Because I promise you, it's not. Cool, cool. Okay. I, I guess he's our only option. <laughs> um, uh, let me take a look at our victim, Peter. You think he was actually murdered? Oh, just as I suspected. Carson, was it? Cameron. Right, sorry, Cameron. <sighs> well, I'm sorry to tell you this, but you were right. The foam around this man's mouth is a clear indicator. He was poisoned. <gasps> and one of you did it! <gasps> now that we know this, uh, Y'all are gonna need a uh, third party to look at this objectively. Luckily, I'm here. Whether you want my help or not, you kind of need it. The name's Joey, by the way. Hi, I'm Beth. Mission uh, Nicole. Hi. Great. All right. So, the first things first is to um, figure out uh, who has some possible motives. Now, which one of you has some sort of uh, resentment towards the manager? <laughs> Great. <laughs> this isn't gonna be easy. All right. Well, um. Get this started. Um, all of you, can you please just stay in your seats? We'll wait for the cops to show Got it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> can you run to the back, lock the doors, go to the light booth, and then get your phone and call the cops, please? Yeah. Thank you so much. And uh, everyone else, who wants to help me hide the corpse? No. No. Oh, come on. Come no. into the kitchen. Come on, chop, chop. Chop? Chop? Well, we can sort of that once we get to the kitchen, but. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, sorry to lock you guys in here, but how about this? Since you're staying, I'll tell you what the Thursday special is. Only after we finish solving the murder! Oh. Well,
All right. Well, it took 15 minutes, but we got it done. I can't believe me and you stuffed my uncle's corpse into the freezer. Well, Carly, we can make sure the body's preserved when the cops get here. Do you have any better ideas? First of all, it's Cameron. Second of all, God forbid my uncle's body decomposes in 45 minutes! Also, this kind of creeped me out. Out of sight, out of mind, right? Anyway, <laughs> get back in line with the other suspects. What? Can't roll anybody out, kid. Sorry, I don't know any of you. Okay, so, we've established that literally all of you have some sort of reason to want the manager dead. All right, if Psyche told me anything, the next step is to figure out who is the best reason to want him dead. Oh, took you a whole show to figure that out. Genius. <laughs> it could be anyone in the restaurant. Waiters, cooks, or someone in the audience. That guy, third girl in your vine shirt, he looks pretty sus. <laughs> On to the town. But uh, based on a theoretical timeline I created in my head, no one that interacted with Vinny and had access could have done so without potentially killing a customer, leaving all of you as the remaining suspects. How would you even know that unless you were watching us? You don't know what you're talking about. I told you I watch Psych! <laughs> My sensitivity to auditory stimuli is higher than most. Also, you guys kind of told me that you were the last ones to interact with them. So, guess who's the first suspect? What? How fragile is your ego? It's already obvious who killed Vinny. Ethan did it! Oh, come on, not this again. Mark, your paper said you know Ethan would never. First off, my ego is not fragile! <laughs> I'm the least fragile ego ever! <laughs> but, um, I'll entertain you. Well, why would Ethan kill the manager? Well, for one, Ethan already has a history of ruining relationships. And, and two, he already said Vinny pissed him off. He did it, case closed. You admitted to that too! And Ethan isn't the one who ruined our relationship. Relationship? Well, what does that have to do with anything? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? Well, Mark and I used to be a couple. Things were going well, you remember, right? And then Mark started acting like an asshole, so I left him for Ethan. Who is my brother? I'm right, Ian. Dude, I'm gonna level with you. That's really messed up. <laughs> but uh, let me get this straight. So you're his brother, and he's dating her, and she's your ex. Dude, this incriminates you way more than it does him now. What? Yeah. Now yeah, listen, if it wasn't for Vinny, then the three of you would have never rehearsed together. Therefore, Ethan would have never stepped in. So you take your anger out on Vinny because deep down you're secretly still in love with your ex. And also, you're your brother's cock. Look, case closed. <laughs> wow, that actually made sense. <laughs> He's definitely lost, but yeah. That isn't what broke Alyssa and I apart. Ethan was trying to break us up for months. Oh. Even Beck could see that, and she's a complete moron! Hey, hey, I'm not going to let Phineas alone. Beck is a lot smarter than what she lets on. I don't know. Maybe I did kill Vinny. <laughs> he yelled at me one time and it made me really sad. How dare he? But you know what? Quite frankly, he got what he deserved. Whoa! Whoa! I'm sorry. What? All right, are we really just gonna keep accusing Mark after Michelle literally just said that? No one asked you. You talentless diva. Hey, hey, keep my stepdaughter out of this. Yeah, Mark's pretty and something, but I'm sure he nor anyone else in this room would say that, but he got what he deserved. Hey, don't pin this on me. You gotta admit, Michelle, that was way out of line. You killed my uncle, you disgusting rich troll! Say that! I wouldn't ruin my own production by killing someone. My artistic legacy sparked a great tourist. I don't know, Michelle. In all my time knowing you, I've only seen you be next to one person. That's that. If Vicky really upset her, I wouldn't put a pass to your mentality. I only cried for like 20 minutes. Hey, let me ask you something, Beth. Uh, I can ask these. Sit, sit, sit. Talk to Michelle a lot? Not only sometimes, but I kind of sit around a lot. But in fact, I would argue that's an asset. Uh, guys, I can do these. This is kind of my turn. Go on, take it Does she talk about Vinny a lot? Oh, yeah, she really hated him. Sounds pretty damning to me. Yeah, almost as much as she hated you guys. Wait, what? Uh, oh, yeah. She used to talk on and on about how she, she could just kill every one of you. Exactly. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm a little curious looking right now if you weren't so wonderful. Because you're so. Everybody, please remain calm! <laughs> Michelle sounds pretty guilty to me. Well, wait a minute. It's not like she's the only one to ever say something like that. Exactly. Someone like you, Craig, you're always pissed and making everyone else miserable. I'm surprised you didn't jump at Vinny's throat while he was still alive. I'm not the one under investigation here. You are. But we all know how much you hated him. More than us. I don't know if you hated his personality so much or if you hate yourself so much that anyone that that's happy gets to you. Listen here. Everybody gonna... shut up! Listen, this is my interrogation, not yours! <laughs> I'm gonna be asking the questions, and you're all gonna look guilty! Answer my questions! Until we figure out which one of you killed Vinny! 
I'm turning this store into the most profitable theater venue in all of Strathmore. And I'll do it all in memory of Beth. Oh, that actually sounds kind of generous, I think. Yeah, I can see it now. In a world where vicious murder is on the loose, one woman must solve the case, along with her lackey in tow, through the work of Double D. Justice will prevail. What the hell is Double D? Director Detective. <laughs> it's our call. Our buddy cop two name. Or, at least that's what's gonna be my show. Or maybe that can just be my name and then, you know, we can make you be Letty or something. <laughs> I would rethink that, but hey, if this means I get one friend at the end of the night, I'm in. No royalties, though. If I survive, I'll become the greatest writer, director, actress of the decade. And if none of you die tonight, I'll give you my autograph that they'll end up selling on eBay. Uh, with feet like those, uh, you could make much more money selling pictures of them to a gentleman yes. like me. Okay, enough of that. I'm, I'm just not gonna acknowledge that. But hey, at least you know you're innocent. But, um, let's not any more murders. Let's get everyone back here, right? Uh, how do we do that? Help! Help! The murders got me! Help! I don't want to die! Help! Am I too late to watch? <laughs> I apologize, but I'm not sorry. How else? Where's the two of us gonna get the old guys to come back here? Okay, anyways, we have an even more important announcement. From this point on, I will be assisting Joey in this investigation. Oh, well, I'm leaving. Oh, no, you're not. We're all staying together until this little interrogation is complete. Got it? It's not safe to leave the group. Uh, step Daddy, you can't leave. I don't know what Mom and I were doing. Something happened to you. One second, Dr. Craig. Go. All right. <laughs> we'll stay. Alright, this is really beaten off, but we saw that figured out which one of you killed my uncle. Hey, hey, let's not forget who the real victim is here. Beth. <laughs> Beth, talk to you soon. I know, I'm, I'm sorry about that, but let's hear it. We're all just gonna stay together until this interrogation is complete, alright? No more distractions from anyone. Hey, hold on a second, partner. Hold on. When we were backstage, you said that you couldn't rule out Cameron as a suspect. I think we should take a closer look at her. What? I mean. Cameron disliked Beth just as much as anyone else here. Yeah. I hate to say it, but Michelle does have a point. It's a boomer! Wait, Craig, what do you mean by that? Well, Nicole and Cameron studied at the same conservatory, and they're both trained performers, so... The way I see it, Cameron definitely could have killed Vinny for not casting That's a stretch, and you know it, old man! Wait, Vinny didn't cast his own niece in his own production? That's right. He was very adamant about how much he didn't want Cameron to be part of the production. That, coupled with your hostility towards Beth. Beth, you have to be the killer. I want to kill my uncle. He's my literal family. Yeah, but you have to admit, it does look off, Cameron. We, you, we all know how you felt about not being cast. This is complete bullshit. You've got to be the worst detective ever. I'm clearly innocent. Hey, like I said, we all need to consider all possibilities when it comes to this sort of thing. This is I'm out of here. What? Hey, get back here. We're not splitting up. We're not splitting up. We're not even sure if Cameron's the murderer or not. And now she's out there alone. Cameron, come back. Listen, baby, baby. No, don't stay. Let's <laughs> <laughs> like squat out. Nicole, come back. I'm not going to let this happen. Great. Great. So much for not splitting up. God. Well, I hope they stay safe out there. If Alyssa doesn't die, I'm going to be super pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? Can't you just drop your grudge? You're just mad because she won't admit she thinks I'm the better brother. Better brother. You, you know that that is not true. Oh, yeah? Yeah! Yeah? Yeah! Well, I bet she doesn't do that thing with her fingers! Her finger! Wait. <laughs> you, you mean where, you know, the, the she... The... <laughs> bro, bro! Bro, that shit is tight! I know! <laughs> I'm not when she's done. <laughs> I know! Oh, I know! Oh, you know why she's got her fingers? Oh, that's when I zoned in. Uh, you're gross. <laughs> um, did she talk about Craig all the time for you two? Yeah. I, I always thought that if Alyssa were to cheat on me with anyone, it would have been Craig. I don't understand why she's so obsessed with him. He hates her. Nicole always says, Stepdaddy has a number one fan whenever she shows up. <sighs> Still grosses me out when she says that. I don't know what's worse, Alyssa's weird crush or Nicole's insistence on talking like a freaking porn star. <laughs> I may still hate Alyssa, but I hope you don't end up dead too, bro. Thanks. Uh, you too. Uh, they've been gone for a while. I'm gonna check on them. Yeah, yep, yeah, yeah.
Mark, Mark, be honest with me here. Do you really think he's going to be the murderer? No man who's had a finger up his ass could possibly be capable of murder. <laughs> She's dead. She's dead. What? She's, at, she's at the bottom of the stairs, and her head is it's a full 180, like, like oh, full 180. Let me take a look at her Like, it's like, like <laughs> oh my god. Hi, watch a lot of SVU, and if it's told me anything, she was definitely pushed. Oh, so there's so many different possibilities when it comes to this sort of thing. <laughs> well, it looks like we just narrowed our suspect pool down to three. Cameron's dead? The three of them left at the same time. I think the three are working together. We split up to look for Cameron. I didn't kill Cameron. Stop it! Look, uh, I just need a second to think, alright? So, the manager, Beth, uh, and now the manager's niece are dead. We can rule out the three of you because you're up here, but this leaves Craig, who is Nicole's stepfather and Alyssa's dream mentor. Alyssa's dating Ethan, and Ethan is friends with, with Mark, which leads to. Damn it! This doesn't make any sense! There's only three is a reason for killing Charles the True. Cameron! Nope. Cameron! Cameron! Anyway, fess up! None of you are gonna talk, huh? Come on. Uh, don't worry about this. I have a little ace up my sleeve. One of you three isn't telling me the whole story. Damn it! They just didn't watch this show! Actually, I think I can help you out. Nicole is really the only friend I have left in this production. So we spent a lot of the rehearsal process together. And she told me something that you all might find very interesting. She and Cameron didn't just go to the same conservatory. They were roommates. Oh my god, they were roommates. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I told you that in confidence. I know, I'm sorry, but this is important. I, I think I figured this out. Oh, well, good job, Mark, but uh, I can handle this mirror. Nicole, where were you the time Calloway died? Huh? No, 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 it's low-key embarrassing. That's not what I was going to Answer the say. question, Nicole. When me and Craig were out walking, I realized that my carb count was a little high, so I decided to make a makeshift sauna and stick my head right in the oven. You will cut some idiot! But while I was in there, I realized that my hair got stuck on the rack! Mm. And I thought I was gonna die because I heard footsteps, I was getting really scared, but then it was just Step Daddy! And he got right behind and helped me out! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nothing, you know. nothing sexual happened between me and my step- <gasps> Nicole! <laughs> Besides, Mark's just talking out of his ass. Yeah. Well, if I wasn't interrupted, you know, I wasn't accusing Nicole. You're not? No, stepdaddy, I'm not! I'm accusing you! Mark, how could you? <laughs> Calling him stepdaddy is really gross coming from you. You see, being roommates wasn't the only thing that Nicole told me about Cameron. Cameron was loud, she was messy, and she smoked weed in the room all the time, even though Nicole hated the smell. And that last thing is what makes me certain that Craig's the killer. Mark, if this is going where I think it's going Shut your goddamn mouth before I shut it. Over Thanksgiving you. break, an RA found Cameron's weed in their dorm. And the school had a very strict drug policy. So Nicole would have gone to jail if Craig hadn't made a hefty donation to the school. A donation that forced him to take a job at a dinner theater production just to turn the lights on. And, and by some twist of fate, he ended up working at a restaurant owned by the uncle of the person who put him in that situation in the first place. True. Craig hated Cameron. I mean, really hated Cameron. Oh, oh my god, but that doesn't mean he could ever kill her. He would never do something like that. This is complete bullshit. Why is this? Because, well, what it sounds to me is that, well, Mark just put together a very compelling case against you. Yeah, yeah, I, I hated Cameron, but aside from my stepdaughter, I hate everybody in this room. And if I was going to kill anybody, I'd kill the idiot director who runs this train wreck. Shut your mouth! You washed up! Sorry, excuse me! Slow it! Slow it! Craig, we have a few more no, questions. Mark, Mark can go to hell. So can the rest of you. I'm, I'm out of here. Craig! Damn it, Craig, come back here.
Yeah, for 10 minutes like he planned, but it's been nearly a half an hour. Who knows what could happen in that time? It's not that bad. <laughs> well, for me it is, babe. I wouldn't know what to do if something happened to you. I know how to protect myself. You don't have to worry about me. Besides, you don't welcome me. After all, according to Joey, I'm still a suspect. Well, yeah, but, but I know it can't be you, babe. Besides, I would still be a suspect too if Mark hadn't said anything. I hope he's okay. I'm sure he is, but he did make good points about Craig. Well, is, is that why you wanted to get away? Are you scared that they might, that he might be right? I, I don't know, but it's not why I wanted to get away. Oh, uh, then, then why? Oh. I was just thinking. With everything that happened, part of me is afraid he won't make it to Alyssa, don't be ridiculous. Shut up. I was thinking. You know, I was so pants. Someone sees us. Well, Marcus is with them, and he's the last person I would want to walk in on. I wouldn't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> 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 Baby, you said that we were not going to be last. Holy shit, Mark! <laughs> no, we can never put Mark in bed! What's where? What happened? It's right there! Oh my god, well, uh, let me take a look at the victim. Oh. Okay, uh, he, he's still wearing the mask on the flight. Oh, Jesus Christ! I've watched a lot of Grey's Anatomy in my day, and nothing could have prepared me for that. <laughs> Someone could really mutilate his face! Oh my god, ew, ew! It looks like somebody ran his face through a paper shredder! Or oh, ran his oh, face over with a chainsaw! Oh. Okay, look, Joey, I don't know what we're gonna do, but you have to get rid of it. I'm gonna vomit! It looks like something just came out of a Rob Zombie movie! Come both of you, please, just shut the fuck up! What? Oh. Final move! Oh. Mutual disdain for him would keep his identity and the killer ambiguous. Then he killed Beth. 
knowing that doing so would avoid painting a target on his back, also while completely destroying Michelle. I mean, never recovered. Then he killed Cameron, believing that his little grudge with her was a secret to everyone other than Nicole. Oh, but Craig was wrong. Mark knew. And when Mark tried to expose his little vendetta with her, Craig tried to divert attention away from himself by saying he would rather kill Michelle before enacting his revenge plot on Mark. You know, he might have gotten away with it, but oh, Craig over here? Craig was sloppy. He used his noose prop to kill Beth, and then he used a shard of the broken disco ball props to kill Mark. And well, with all thanks to Alyssa and Michelle, I found out that that disco ball prop, you broke in the first place. It's not true, I wouldn't kill anybody. Save it. Being the miserable asshole that you are, it makes perfect sense for you to want to kill anybody who's like you. I, I understand what you guys think, but I, I'm telling you, I've been framed. I, I don't. I can't believe I looked up to you. We're done here. Ethan, take me to the kitchen until the cops get here. No. We're just taking him to the safe. The only thing that we have for the mom for you really is. Yes. Let me take this piece of shit out. Wait. Let me be the one. Don't justify reveal my mentor. You saw four people die tonight. You're still this delusional. Oh, shit. We did it. We're finally safe now. I want to thank Kim Cole for helping Joey and me put this whole thing together. I know it was probably very hard for you to accuse your stepmother like that. Are you okay? I don't know. I mean, I want to feel woke, but this is just one big vibe trap. It doesn't feel real. It's going to take a while to recover, but it takes souls to know me do the right thing. But no one's fault to go home safe tonight. Yeah, true, true. I mean, he was a good stepdad, but if he's capable of all of this, he needs to be put behind bars. Exactly. You know, I can't believe we didn't put this together sooner. <laughs> no, right? Very Craig good. wasn't exactly a subtle murderer. I mean, he was very open about how much he hated all of us. Hell, he even announced it after Cameron's died. It was almost too obvious. It was, wasn't it? I mean, you would have think the person who put this whole thing together would have tried harder to hide it. I'm gonna tell you one thing. Craig is gonna be a lot less obvious in my stage production of this. But you know what? I guess it works in our benefit of the end, partner. Something here does not feel right. Well, let's just forget about it, okay? Alyssa's taking care of it. Not that I'm surprised. Because the whole mentor thing? <laughs> no, 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 no. Because that's just the kind of person that she is. Since when? Well, she's always doing little things like that to make my life a little better. Before the final dress rehearsal, she had a bouquet of Maybells delivered to the dressing room just to let me know how proud she was of me. Aww. Maybells. Yeah. Maybells. Where have I heard that before? Maybells. Maybe. No, 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 you no, it can't be. What? No, nothing. I, you said Alyssa was with you the whole time and Mark died. Yes, yes, pretty much the whole time. Pretty much? Well, she was, She went to the bathroom at one point. She was gone for like 10 minutes. Why didn't you tell me that before? Because the food didn't surrender. Oh my That's god! Hey, it was too easy. Michelle was right. Come on, we need to go now. What? Come on. What? Well, why? What? Don't, what? No, please. 
Stop right there! Yes, I did. <laughs> he wanted to make an entry, and I thought I was the dramatic one. Melissa, oh, babe, what's going on? Did he just say he wanted to kill the audience? Uh, I'm updating the audience. What does it look like? We, we agreed on that. Change of plans. Looks like we're going to tell the audience the truth here. That is, Craig is innocent. <laughs> Alyssa is the murderer. Wait, what? Uh, what? Uh, what's that? I told you it wasn't me. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, that's hold on. Right, calm down. <laughs> okay, continue. What do you mean? Why are you saying that? I've had to come up with a ridiculous idea like that. It's simple, really. You know, after thinking about the evidence, I was quite sure that Craig was the killer. But then, you know, Ethan mentioned to me a little something about having flowers delivered to his dressing room, and then, well, it all made sense. It all made sense to Breaking Bad. Yeah. You're not making sense. Oh, I'm just getting started. That's right. I brought flashcards. <laughs> Ethan told me that uh, Alyssa had ordered a bouquet of Maybells to his dressing room. You know, Maybells, they're also known as Lily of the Valley, a highly poisonous plant that was used to poison a child in a season four episode of Breaking Bad. Yes. You know, Alyssa's initial plan was to poison Craig during tonight's toast. Oh, this is good already. But don't talk about Joey. Please save all the questions until the end. <laughs> However, she failed to take into account that Craig had brought a blast to the performance. No doubt expecting at least, you know, a modicum of professionalism from him, but alas, she was wrong. Gee, thanks. You even know what modicum means? Dictionary.com, word of the day, motherfucker! <laughs> Many happened to take the poison glass and thus became a victim by proxy. That is completely unsubstantiated. Is it? Because, well, when you were consoling Cameron, you said, and I quote, sometimes the wrong people go at the wrong time. What appeared to us as words of comfort towards a grieving young woman, they were actually words of frustration from a murderer who killed the wrong target! Well, this is basically writing itself. <laughs> no, it isn't. And even if that were true, which it's not, why would I start killing other people? Questions? Until the end. Melissa <laughs> <laughs> then knew that she needed to alter her plan. A toxicology report would surely incriminate her. And she couldn't just go to prison for an accidental murder. No. She then realized that she could not only save herself from incarceration, but also subject Craig to a fate that she considered far worse than death public humiliation, and permanent imprisonment. So, Alyssa sought to frame Craig for Vinny's death. How might you ask? Well, by killing even more. Wait, wait, I think I know where this is going. Oh, uh, kind of my mind. So Alyssa <laughs> killed Beth next because she knew that literally everybody hated her except for Michelle, right? Shut up! Yeah? But, yes. <laughs> uh, she was right. Hey, I care not for Alyssa and Bonnie. Alyssa then wanted to keep the killer ambiguous at first. So she killed somebody who nobody really cared for, leading to uh, her dropping the first hint at Craig's planned guilt by using the noose prop as the murder weapon. You know, two murders, they weren't enough to pin the blame on him. So, Alyssa hatched a plan to push us in Craig's direction. A victim that was related to the manager and also had bad beef with his stepdaughter. You know, the perfect combo. So, she pushed Corona right down. Yeah, it. it says Corona in my flesh. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, she pushed her down the stairs to her painful demise. This is completely ridiculous. <laughs> Unfortunately for Alyssa, you know, three murders were still not convincing enough. She thought Craig's admission to hating Cameron would be the final nail in the coffin. But she needed to one more murder to ensure that there was no doubt of Craig's guilt. No, I love Gwen Stefani. Oh, I like Fergie much better. That is a dipshit take. <laughs> Wait, I think I've figured it out. Alyssa decided to take advantage of the argument between Mark and Craig. She knew that Craig hated my brother and she must have used that to justify killing him. <laughs> And then she manipulated Nicole and I into taking her side so that she could finally have Craig right where she wanted. My moment! Mine! So, I'm sorry, I'll go off. Do you think a piece of that uh, Craig broke was, you know, uh, admittedly a nice touch? But that's what led us to where we are now, with Alyssa trying to cancel Craig before, you know, sending him away for life. So, you know what? I'll admit, Alyssa's plan almost worked, but she made a fatal error in front of you all tonight. You see, I never found any evidence of Craig, or anyone in that matter, trying to kill an audience member. So, Alyssa, she got overzealous in her speech, and, you know, proved herself very guilty in the process. You know, <laughs> Alyssa over here, she might have gotten away with it too, if it wasn't for modern television. <laughs> this is where you applaud. <laughs> Oh, these damages is what gets me on the road to becoming an ego. You better take me with you. <laughs>
Especially? Baby. 